We are having some interesting weather for Oregon. We don't normally get any snow here where I live or at the most one day, but this has been a frozen sheet of ice for three days now. It's supposed to go away tonight, but I gotta get some filming done. So let's put the center stand on the trans out because I can do that without leaving the garage, mostly. Normally I would have at least rinsed it off before I start poking around underneath it. Those of you who are like, why don't you wash your bike after every ride are just like living it up right now because I sort of wish I had the last time I had it out and got it all muddy, but hose is frozen, so that ain't happening today. I've got what is supposed to be a relatively simple install on the Hepco and Becker center stand here on the Transalp. Directions are three steps. I know it's not gonna be that simple, but let's give it a shot. Thank you to Motor Machines for sending me this Hepco and Becker center stand. It should be a pretty simple installation. It mounts right up to where the factory center stand goes. So there's a mount just right here. It's already prepared for it. This just pops in. The hardest part here should be stretching that spring, which I'm not looking forward to. I'm doubly not looking forward to in the cold. But the first step is to install this rubber uh, stopper on the underside, or the upper side, I should say, of the center stand to keep it from banging into the frame. So we're gonna do that. A little concerned that this stopper is gonna be pretty stiff because it's so cold out here, but I kept it in my pocket for a while, so hopefully it'll just go in. And then we want it to pop through. So I just gotta grab underneath of the pair of pliers and try to pull it through. Ta-da! Wow, that was shockingly easy. There it is, right there. Okay, now the fun part. Okay, fairly simple, it looks like. Uh, I've got an axle bolt here that just goes, there's a pivot, whatever, call it whatever you want. So it looks like an axle to me. Uh, it goes right in here and then screws into this factory point to hold it, keep it from moving or pulling out. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of grease on it. I realize it's not going to last that long, probably the way that I ride, but I feel better. Oh, no, actually it's encased. Okay, no, grease is a good thing. So I'll put a little grease on that. The grease isn't frozen, so that's, that's good. That's progress. Everything else seems to be. It's a nice kind of coating, just to give it a little bit of lubrication and protection when water inevitably gets in there. So put this up here, like, yay. Ah, this would have been easier if it was clean. Why don't I clean my bikes? Jeez, some people are so much smarter than me. Oh man, that was shockingly easy. Okay, that's step one. And you line the bolt up. And we're just going to put this retaining bolt and washer right in that hole. That's the next step. Like, it's designed from the factory to have a center stand like this. But makes you wonder why they don't just include it. I'm telling you, there's going to be a rally version of this with all the factory stuff already included. Skid plate, crash bars. Just wait. It'll be like 11 or 12 grand. And it'll be a bargain because it'll be all OEM and already installed so you don't have to do any of this. Oh man, this is an awkward place to have to turn this. Should use a socket wrench, I have one. That would make a lot of sense. I'm gonna grab one of those. I don't like this shiny piece of silver here, but it won't be that color for long. I even have a fancy short socket wrench, perfect for this. Okay, nice and tight. It's on there. Now the weird part. There's an extension and it just hangs there. I'm assuming because spring tension holds it, but it literally goes like this, and I have to get the spring from here to there. It has a smaller loop on top to keep it like in the groove, I guess, but uh, there's nothing else holding it. And again, it's silver for some reason. But I have to take this spring, this double spring, mind you, and stretch it from there to there. You need a pretty hefty spring to keep your center stand up when you're doing shenanigans off-road, so. I don't have a spring puller, and the roads are not, I can't get out of my driveway right now. Jeez, I was gonna do the screwdriver method, but I don't even know, that's crazy. We'll give it a shot. Okay, I've propped up the center stand on the back side, so it's not in my way, to minimize the distance. We're gonna attempt the, the screwdriver method, because I don't have a spring puller. The chain is gonna be mildly in the way. I have something for that. I have something for that. Okay, that'll help. That'll help. Don't forget to cut that off before you go riding, idiot. We'll get it. We'll get it. We got this. That was easier than I expected it to be. We're so close a second ago. There you go. See this? It's almost there. 
I'll pop over. Oh, oh, oh we got it. We got, huh. no way was it that easy. No way. That is not tight, bro. I mean, I don't think it's going anywhere. I really expected that to be tighter. I don't think it'll come off. That's right, isn't it? Sure looks like it. Hook the spring extension onto the original retaining bolt. Now hook the spring into the extension first and then connect it to the center stand. Yeah, okay. I, I think it's in there. I think we're done. How can we be done? I guess the only thing left to do is take it off of here and try to put it up on the center stand. I feel like I'm forgetting something because Dork installs don't go this quickly or easily. Ever. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, put on the center stand, push it down, pull up. No. Oh yeah, now we're living large. Janky spring extension aside, that was probably the easiest thing I've put on this bike, except maybe the double take mirrors. So, if you're looking for a center stand for your Trans Alp, Hepco and Becker makes a good one. It's very solid, powder coated black. Goes right up to the factory mounting point. Time will tell how it holds up, how much it bounces, and if it gets caught on things off-road. It doesn't look like I'm losing any extra ground clearance beyond what I've lost with the skid plate. I took a picture, I'll put it up for you. If anything, maybe an eighth of an inch. One thing I don't like is there's definitely like a lip there that could catch stuff. My plan is not to drag this over rocks, but I never plan to get into the stupid stuff I get into, so. We'll see how it holds up, but you know, thanks again to Boulder Machines for sending me that. Not a sponsored video, but they did send me the product. And uh, I'll put a link to it in the description for you. But for now, and as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Now I'm going to go inside because my boogers are frozen. Oh, thank you. Excellent!